this one we're gonna move this group of sheep uh, these ewes and their lambs on down the road about a mile to another pasture uh, it's, this pasture's on Travis's place we got it divided we've been moving them in and out through these for the last well 30 days and now we're gonna let it grow back up and we're gonna move them on down to another pasture it's about oh, 25 or 30 acres it'll hold them for a few weeks and then we've got another one down the road from that one so uh, here we go we'll get started so first thing we're doing here is just riding through them a little bit letting them know hey it's time to do something they gather their lambs up because it's well, it's disturbing to them to move too much. We've been moving them, so they're kind of used to it now. But uh, uh, we don't want to end up with a whole bunch of lambs and the end of the trail and a bunch of ewes in the front and everybody bawling and nervous and upset. So we're just taking our time here. And, and we're letting the the ewes find out what's going on, find their lambs. Yeah, they're all looking at me. I'm up here in the front. I'm gonna open the gate and they'll know what's going on. They've done this probably 20 to 30 times because we rotated them through Travis's place. So here they come. Hopefully everybody's bringing their lambs. I'm in front of them to kind of slow them down a little bit. One starts running, they all start running. You know, one thing that, if you're doing this, and uh, you just gotta realize that they're not going to get away from you. You don't have to be in a hurry. You don't have to, you know, get all excited because they're going the wrong way or something. Um, no, they're not. They're not going anywhere. Not anywhere we don't want to take them. So here's what makes this interesting is you get these lambs and they're just feeling good about life and they're, I don't know, 40 or 50 of them there in a the group just running around. And their moms are bawling. Here's some, some of them coming back for them. about a 10 acre little pasture here we're just gonna drive them around this pasture for a moment get their heads on right carefully and fairly slowly go around this 10 acre pasture just to refresh their minds how to drive and to kind of refresh ours again how to how to handle them the best with the least stress because if you don't know small ribnets goats and sheep cannot stand stress the stress, uh, well, it, can, it can't just kill them, it just makes them not grow. We, who knows how many pounds of growth we lose every year from stress. 
Uh, I mean, that probably goes for any any livestock. through the gate, well, the same gate they'll go through is to the crowd when we work them here in a month or so. These animals have been driven and uh, I, I would suggest that everybody drive their animals um, let them learn how to drive be comfortable with it you be comfortable with it it's as much as you being comfortable with it that makes them comfortable with it you're not getting away And these would probably follow you with a bucket. And you get a bunch of the ewes and a bunch of the lambs would be in the back and just running around crazy and not know what was going on. And everybody would uh, all be mismatched and upset. Slow those ewes down a little bit. Slow everybody down. One ewe takes off running, they all take off running. Well, Travis will get those renegades. They ain't going nowhere. I think some of these ewes would be on down to the pasture if I wasn't in front of them here. And a bunch of them would just be trailing behind and then all the lambs would be in the rear. Well, so far so good. About a half mile to go. So we're trying to keep out this yard here. I'm trying to give them a little more space to be at the front so they'll go straight. Well, nothing's 100% in this business, but they're coming. Theoretically, if I give them more space up here at the front, they line out more, they're not so bunched up, and they'll tend to go straight. And that's kind of what's happening here. Here comes a bunch of them, and they'll lead them others. Yeah, yeah. 
Just past that red barn up there is the gate. There's the lambs at the end, but they're driving. They've, they've learned it over the last few weeks. Well, we still had 50 or 60 of these lambs here in the rear. Kind of learn how to drive. Well, now we gathered them back up. Of course, when we come through the gate, even with somebody in front of them trying to slow them down, they scattered. Now we're pairing them back up. This is probably one of the most important parts: is getting the lambs back with their moms, letting everybody find each other. You don't just let them run through the gate and then go home. And they'll maul until they find their lamb, they'll hear each other. Everybody made the trip. Nobody got left behind, nobody got lost. Yeah, there's still a little bit of balling, but they'll find each other. They've calmed down now. Quit their running. We'll get the dog food feeders up here, get the fence hot. Everybody will be fine. <laughs> 